Okay, for the robot face project, lesson seven here, this mini project, you're gonna create a robot face over here on the left. And so we're gonna use some coding here. They give you some direction here a little bit with this. It says do this, you know, use your plan for your activity guide to create your robot face. Um, make sure you use at least four variables with random numbers. So these four are connected here, All right? So you got four different variables to give your robot features that change each time the program has run. Okay, so let's just make, to start off here, we'll make a rectangle because we need to make some shapes. So we'll start off with this and we want to kind of make this a little bit big here. So we'll do, um, let's just give it its location. We'll start up at the top, 50 and 50. So that's going to kind of start up in here, this area, and we can show the grid that probably be kind of helpful and if I run this there's this right here let's actually make this a little bit bigger 300 and 300 okay if I did that now there's kind of my face or at least a good start for it and then if I wanted to I could go ahead and do a fill right here and we'll just say yellow and so my, maybe my robot face is yellow. And we can actually alter this later on, but we'll leave this for right now. Okay, so the face of my robot is gonna be yellow. Actually, let's, we can change it, make it, let's make it green. Okay, so now we're gonna make some other shapes. And perhaps what we wanna do is have a couple eyes here. Okay, and so let's go ahead and make an ellipse like this. And we'll make two of them. So let's do, let's just kind of see where we can make these. Okay. So if I did the first one, oh, oh, that's really big, isn't it? We should probably change that. So let's just make this like 20 and 20. Same thing for these. And let's just give this second ellipse here a location. Let's do 300 and 100. And we can always change these later. And this should put it over here somewhere. Ah, so you can kind of see them right there. They're a little small. Maybe we should make them more like 50, 50, 50, and 50. Okay. So those are the two eyes. Now what we want to do is, as they say here, use at least four variables with random numbers. And I have more to do here. I should probably make a face or a smile um, and maybe a nose I want to put on here. But we'll just start with this. And so what we want to do now is we want to go to our variables and we're going to add in a variable. And we'll call it eye size. Okay. And you know what, for the eyes, let's make that a little bit different too. Let's change this so that we'll make the eyes yellow, um, but below the rectangle. Because remember, when we draw these things, so this one's going to fill green, this one's going to fill yellow, and if I do these, oops, ah, i got to finish up my, my eye size. We'll just give it a number here. All right, so there are my eyes, just like that. All right, so right now they're set to 50 and notice this right here says at least four variables so i could do eye size for all of them i could do a left eye size if i wanted to um, i'm just going to keep it just one eye size and then what they want to do is they want you to use random numbers so we're going to go to the math random numbers here we're going to drag out a random number and remember the way random numbers work is it picks between these numbers and it will randomly generate these. So let's just do, let's do like 75 to 125. So every time I hit reset, it's gonna pick a number between 75 and 125. And then what I wanna do is I wanna take this label, I'm just gonna copy this, and put this down here. And if you don't know how I did that, highlight this and you can do Control C that will copy it. And then down here, I'm gonna do Control V. So 
everywhere I put this I size, it's going to look down here and it's going to say, oh, whatever number was generated here is going to place it into here. So instead of the 50 that I have, it's going to be between 75 and 125. And these might end up being too big, but we'll kind of check this out. So see how they get bigger. Now they're a little bit smaller. Now they're really big. So maybe 125 is too big, but that's okay. It can be that. And now it's this. So this is one of my variables. So my next thing to do here is to probably, I can either say, you know what, I want this to be left eye size or right eye size. Maybe what I want to do is start making a mouth down here. And I can do that. Maybe I want to add a nose. And so I could go to drawing and add another ellipse and place it here in the middle. I could also change this color. So instead of green, I could use the RGB values. So let's take a look at that here for a second. Let's drag this out for a sec. Instead of using fill, I could use, see if I can find it here, uh, right here, RGB. Oop, I gotta use fill first. I have to put my fill back on there. Okay, so we got fill here, and then we're gonna actually do RGB like this. So now what I can do is I can actually change this and bring out a new variable. And maybe I want it to be um, face color. Okay, oh, let me get rid of the capital. Okay, so maybe we'll call this face color. And what we can do then is add another random. And if I did this right now, see how this will only be red. But if I took this and I said, all right, face color is gonna be between, let's say 150 and 255, okay? So every time I run this, it's going to change this. So see right now, this RGB is 255. Well, maybe what I want to do is do face color into this. And it will take this number that I have here and place it into here. And it'll be between 150 and 255 every time it runs. So let's see if it, it affects my face color. Ah, uh, see, it got a little darker. I could do the same thing across the whole thing if I wanted to. And it's gonna randomly pick 150 to 255. Now our, our colors are gonna be drastically different. Oh, white, ooh. Maybe now that's, maybe that's not a good thing. There we go, that's a little better, but this will be more yellow. So maybe I wanna leave this at zero. And so you can, you can affect this, right? With the use of a variable. So you still have to have a nose, a mouth, and two more variables. And so I could come up with different variables. You know, maybe I don't want the face color. Maybe I want it to be eye color. And instead of putting it right here, I could leave this as 255 and instead place it down here at yellow where the eyes are at. And I could change the eye colors. And I could do left eye, left eye color and right eye color and things like that. So as you go through this, it's key, you know, with this project that you have four variables with random numbers. So you're definitely gonna need four with a random number, then maybe it's gonna be face color, maybe it's gonna be eye size. What they're really looking for to use is variables. And variables are incredibly helpful. You know, think of them as something that saves something for us. I think in, in one of the lessons they called it a container. And basically that's what's happening here is the eye size container is containing this number and we're gonna drop it in here, down here, okay? So ultimately with this project, you're gonna end up with four variables with random numbers and make a face over here so that those four things have random numbers and will change each time that you run this, okay? Hopefully that helped you with the mini project on the robot faces. I know starting out very first project, this can be a little intimidating sometimes, but it is really pretty straightforward. Just make sure you have four variables with random numbers. Hopefully that helps you with your programming. 
and you're able to make a really cool robot face. Good luck.